This is water if somebody asks. Oh my God, it's burning my, oh my God. It's burning. What have you done? We're gonna walk a little bit, swim a little bit. This is Christmas walk in Viborg. A lot of tourists. This is holiday season. One of my favorite places in Leningrad region. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This place is so epic, so beautiful. This is not experienced by even more people from, from Europe. 99% never visit this beautiful country. It must be some kind of a law to never write anything positive about Russia. There's a lot of people, so there's a lot of restaurants. They usually come here for one day as they travel to St. Petersburg. And you should. Check out my beard. It's cold as, air, as hell. The oldest living apartment building of whole uh, Russia. This is Viborg. Welcome to Viborg on the Russian Christmas Eve. The trip to this place, now we're going to continue, we're going to go to the old town. And, and I'm, once again, I'm in a hurry, I'm in a hurry because I want to go back on a special train so I can manage to film today also in Petersburg. But I think we're going to grab something, a little bottle of vodka because it is Christmas. Outside. Yes, but on this channel we drink outside always. That's the Finnish part of my channel. But uh, I'm not being abno obnoxious or something like that, you know? Uh, let's go through here. Whoa. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> this is water if somebody asks. It's all Kazan. It's actually good. I hate vodka. My adventure in Viborg. Oh my god, it's burning my oh my god. It's burning. God, Starai Kazan, old Kazan, what have you done? Mineral water, yes, it's good for health. Guys, uh, we're gonna walk a little bit, swim a little bit. I wanna share as much of Russia as I can with you guys. This is Christmas walk in Viborg. In case I miss, 
the train. I'm not lost, it's not my last or anything. But I'm just going to get into town so I can, uh, uh, so that I have time to maybe film Weborg today as well. Ah, uh, sorry, St. Petersburg. Fine. Watch the new stream from Weborg, guys. Really, really beautiful stuff. A lot of tourists. This is holiday season. It's a uh, Russian holiday. It starts from uh, uh, from the New Year. Burger estate. Burgers estate, it says. I've never been here. I'm gonna go here now. Here's. I don't wanna. We're not eating right now. Oh, this is sweet house. Rebirth Crendel. I've never been over here actually. By the way, vodka gives me. Gave me some good power. Everybody, please push likes. We have an uh, epic stream, mega stream for Viborg, one of my favorite places in Leningrad region. But there's a lot of things I haven't seen yet, even in this region here. So, this is like a hill. This would be a song. This would be a Beatles song. This would be a fool on the hill. Oh, da, 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 da. And the eyes in his head. Da, 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 da. Fool on the hill. The Magical Mystery Tour album, 1967. Now, this is crazy. Because in the last stream I walked, oh my, oh my god, it's beautiful. In the last stream I walked, somebody wrote me a subscriber that, hey, I just passed you, I didn't notice you. 10 minutes ago, I was like, wow. And yesterday in Sevkado, uh, we saw also a subscriber in uh, Sevkado. Can you imagine that? This place is so epic, so beautiful, that I feel bad that, you know, let's say fin Finns are, even before all this, being afraid to travel to Russia mostly. So it feels really, really sad to me that uh, this is not experienced by even more people from from Europe and uh, this is an epic place guys these are beautiful little courtyards this old city is so so guys what happened today is I walked all the way to uh, Viborg uh, what was it a Viborg shopping mall I filmed it for you guys then I've also walked from that Soviet suburbs of Viborg to the center and now to the old town. So all three phases are being filmed. And that is great, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Imagine all the people. It's easy if you try. Hell below us, above the holy sky. Imagine all the people. I know I sound bad, but I feel great. It's the vodka. You can actually go up, I think. Once it seems to be closed. Now we're once again in the rush mode. 
we usually are in Viborg. Guys, if you want, you can support the channel with a super chat. And I will definitely drink to that. I have been in Viborg two times and it's a nice town. It's not Peter. Yes, definitely. But it has its own charm. It's older town, much, much more older town than uh, Petersburg. You can feel that it's a smaller town as well. That's totally found. Yes, I filmed it many, many times. I didn't go right there right now. It was in the beginning after it was uh, pretty close to that uh, square square and that cathedral you remember it was next to it you can check my Viborg playlist on my channel and it looks really cool next to abandoned uh, what is it abandoned factory which is now covered, but I've been there inside in 2021 when it was open. This is one of the main streets. There's a lot, few of them actually. It was funny when I was in Ivan Gorod, basically had Oh, they eat sausage. Black Cat was, uh, he was working. Plus, America is like, uh, so, uh, uh, is it like early night, I think? There's difference, like eight hours. Or early early morning, I'm not sure which one is it. This is like uh, old cathedral, which was destroyed in the war and never restored. This one here. Guys, there's always possibility that I will re-release videos because sometimes a lot of people don't see this, especially if it's like during the daytime. A lot of our American subscribers and friends usually don't cannot see this this early because of the uh, time change. But otherwise, otherwise this city has been restored really nicely. It has been a lot, lot, much, much, much worse, I believe. But it's old news because in Finland, they they have been saying for decades how badly, bad shape, how, how in bad shape the city is. And uh, like I said, 99% never visit this beautiful country. So they don't know actually what's happening. They, they, they are... need to uh they, they know only what they read and with what they read is basically i don't know it must be some kind of a law to never write anything positive about russia it must be a secret law to fill it. so my battery is dying quickly so we're gonna take this away hold up now let's have some mineral water from kazan it's all kazan water in an idealistic world, smiles is the best choice. Love. Like I said, unfortunately, in many ways, it's not like... Uh, it's not idealistic songs. world is not like songs. That's what I'm saying. Lots of tourists inside the castle. <laughs> yes, this is the Viborg Castle. Amazing, beautiful. You can see some Finnish language here and there on those streets. Linnakato. Here is Kahvila. I usually come here, stand here, and move to the, to the next spot. Wow, 
Oh, check it out, guys. We are here. And the last winter I was inside the castle. You can check on the guide playlist, not uh, Viborg playlist. Guys, we in Viborg, and this is this here is the Viborg Castle. Welcome to the first visit to uh, Viborg in 2024 with Igor in Russia. All the places here. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing Viborg Castle. Let's check out what time is it. Actually, as a castle, it's not that big. There are many, many bigger castles than many bigger castles. But it's it's very yeah, yeah, impact. Well, how do I say it? It's tight. And I guess you cannot go upstairs. That would be awesome. town again. I have a different route this time. Remember guys, push likes. Whoa. Uh, that flag, hold up. I think it's a historical flag. The Russian Navy flag would be just uh, white and blue. Not sure about this by the way. Good question. Have to check it out. But it's probably old Russian Imperial uh, flag. But it could be also a mix of different cultures. This is uh, the founder of the city, Knutsen, Swedish Knutsen. Somebody knows more about him than me, for sure. No, St. Andrew, that's uh, the one. Ah, St. George. Not sure about St. Andrew. Amazing guys, amazing place. I love it. I really enjoy. That part of town is quite scarce, but in the summertime I need to go to that park and go to the embankment. I know it's a cool, cool place. I'm feeling kind of hungry, but I don't know that I want to Grab something to eat or not? Not sure. Linnan Kato, you see? There's a lot of Finnish language, which is really nice. It means, uh, there's a crepes in the Guys, I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. just to get to the city and finally, well, not finally, but film this again. It is packed with, with a lot of people. This is like, uh, imagine, just from St. Petersburg. Oh, that was a nice doggy. Thousands and thousands of people travel every day. I'm still eating the sausage. Popular, popular place. It's a tavern. I've never been here, but a lot of people subscribers said to me that, yeah, it's a great place to eat and drink. Old town beer. We have even older. We have old Kazan vodka with us, which we are gonna consume. Gloria asks, what is there to eat? Well, there's a ton of different places. Depends. This is not like culinary number one spot like St. Petersburg, but there's the supply, the demand. So there's a lot of people, so there's a lot of restaurants. And better and, and less better. Krepasna.
Yes. And many people who arrived to St. Petersburg from uh, uh, from Moscow, usually people arrive here for, like for many, many days. Wow. So they usually come here for one day as they travel to St. Petersburg. And you should. It's one hour away. In one hour, that's the time it takes you to get from the city suburbs, the outskirts, to city center. So yes, definitely you should. Seems it's not taking off that much, but still enjoying the time here with all of you. Yeah, the weather, by the way, great. Yes, I thought yesterday was awesome, and I was afraid that this would be uh, cloudy. But in fact, but in fact this was really nice. Here. And I like the fact that uh, the big cars are forbidden from driving here. Definitely a good choice. Awesome, right? Christmas atmosphere. Christmas weekend here in Viborg. Well, just a Friday, but it's counted as a weekend. Check out my beard. It's cold as uh, as hell. Really, really enjoy this uh, this old town of Newport. By the way, is it here? Yes, guys, I'm gonna show you because you wanted to see quickly the oldest living apartment building of whole uh, Russia is here in the Viborg. People actually live here. Check it out. Here it is. I always show you because it's so unique stuff. It's a Krepostnaya 13A. This small building over here, surrounded by some of the old buildings. Check out these dangerous ones. Icicles. Leborg, but uh, there's a new area, brand new area, which was started by Finnish company YIT Uite, called Malai Finlandia, Small Finland, Little Finland. And I filmed inside and actually talked to the person living there. Hold up. And uh, I talked to a person living there and they said, uh, actually it's almost the same price as in St. Petersburg, meaning way too much. So it can be probably new buildings in Vibor probably almost as, as expensive as in St. Petersburg. But if somebody would like to own an apartment living in Finland, or that would be the greatest option for them. This is like a Finnish history as well. You have everything you need in Russia here. And it's 30 minutes away from the border. And if you need an apartment, you can check out the link in the description where you can actually ask a Russian lawyer from Moscow free consultation how to get how to get it started, how to buy an apartment as a woman. Yes, it can be done. Half an hour, guys. Oh, what is this? 
By the way, some cats live here. Thankfully, there are. They are inside. All right. We'll check out the event. The main event. Christmas. So this is where we fed some titties during the summer, over here. And these, by the way, both finally some uh, proper gloves, because with those, uh, the ones I had, you, I could survive for five minutes, and then I lost, uh, I couldn't feel my fingers. There's a lot of like, uh, the clothing stores, not like uh, no uh, international brands, local ones, which is good. Right. I think it's time to drink some vodka. I just need some vodka to stay warm. thing it's like why not or just buy an apartment I had some subscribers uh, writing me in fa on Facebook I think yeah and they said like uh, and he said that uh, he actually owns an apartment in, uh, in Ottawa so right at the border of Russia uh, Russia and uh, Estonia so same things. If you have, you can. Why not? Despite it, it's not being used. So why not? So you have the same laws, the same rights. So everything is fine for you, for sure. As an owner. All right. Dances have been danced. That's something finished, by the way. Dance, dance. separate streams plus I recorded a uh, walkthrough video so I feel I feel good about this and this is uh, a Lenin Park I, I prefer the streets I love the details oh, guys remember to push likes More entertaining. I think this used to be uh, some uh, Finnish, Finnish, uh, Finnish building over here. Further down the road used to be the building of uh, Finnish bank, and now it's still a bank building. This is Esplanade. Yes, that over there is an Esplanade and a park. Actually, the name is Park. Uh, the very first time I arrived to Viborg and walked and filmed in 2021, I think. Uh, I used to go somewhere here. Is it this one here? Nasha Cafe. Yes, our coffee. Cafe. 
and it's like a Soviet style restaurant, cafe actually, slash restaurant. And that was remarkable because it had some like a Soviet theme back then, I don't know about now. And it looked really nice. And it had uh, okay food. Then I continued filming, I remember that vividly. And last time, before all this nonsense with the borders, I think I was in this plot spot. Yes, I was there drinking a beer before a stream. So the uh, the Gulf is over there, and that is actually a hotel. Uh, that's let's go actually through here. Yeah. That place over there is a uh, Hotel Drujba. It's a historical, legendary re uh, cafe, um, hotel. It's a legendary hotel, especially for Finns. Finns during the Soviet times used to travel to Hotel Drujba, Drujba meaning uh, hotel friendship. They went there. And Finnish usually people when they travel they drink a lot so basically actually Russians Finnish people's traveling to uh, Russia used to be called like a vodka trip or something like that I'm not sure and uh, so they uh, that's the hotel they stayed at most often because this was the very first location coming from Finland but I really like, by the way, Ivan Gorod border, I have to say, because you can actually walk through the border as a pedestrian and immediately there's a Russian town services, you know, you don't need to travel anywhere, you can actually walk and thousands of Narvinians, people from Narva, do travel that. I hate this thing with all the BS. All right, let's go forward. Cold. So, was it Salakalak, the Silakalak, the man? I don't know the names. Anyway, that's a beautiful uh, golf. Not golf. It is golf. Yes, small golf over there. Shit. Ah, is that Finnish functionalism? I thought it's like a Soviet thing. Do you mean Druzba? Or do you mean this? <laughs> we need to get to that side. It's gonna be Guys, I really tried today. I filmed for, uh, for three hours live and more. So I filmed four hours today. Walked in the absolute cold. I did not take a taxi from the suburbs to the center, even though it would have cost me uh, 1.5 bucks, which is a good price. I walked the whole, whole way. Summertime, this is a big place. This embankment is really nice. I actually enjoy this a lot. And, uh, you guys in the chat, please give me a minute count. What time is it? I think I need to be in 15 minutes over there. 
need to get to the toilet. <laughs> Pardon. Pardon moi. Thank you. Uh, I, I expect, I'm afraid that uh, the train, because it's holidays, I'm afraid the train will be quite packed. So I'm already late if I want to get seated. Stay tuned for community post in text. And I will let you know. Uh, what happened? Wow, Druzba need to return the Druzba friendship between you. <laughs> uh, oh my god, <laughs> enjoy your fun. I think I broke something, but I could have broken more if I would have fell. My God, <laughs> it was funny because I was speaking about Rusba. It was like, no, no friendship. That was a uh, father first. Guys, we're walking. We walk in here. By the way, all my Finnish friends. Here is Nesta. So that is actually Neste, but the company that owns Neste is different. It's not Neste anymore. They have the right, I think, for the brand, just like Stockman, for example. There is still Finnish Stockman on Nevsky. It's actually located on Nevsky Business Center, right next to uh, Ploshe Fastania. It has nothing to do with Stockman, but they have the right for the brand. For a few years, I don't know how long. And same thing with Neste. You can see it's not finished Neste because the prices are different. <laughs> Here it is. Guys, the prices of the gas food, and can travel to Russia in a bit is 95 octane. It's, it's gone up a little bit, with one ruble, a couple of rubles. It's 55 cents per liter. And diesel is uh, 63 cents per liter. It has gone up just a little bit, not much. Right, a lot of people coming from uh, uh, coming from the station. We just arrived. Probably on the same last I need to get to. Yes, these buildings are really beautiful, I agree. And I want as well. I really enjoy this place. And of course, the uh, the railway station, this is the newer one. Basically, exactly like Helsinki, the current one was destroyed in the 1951. And uh, it's a Stalinist style. In Russia, sometimes just walk like that, especially if they're uh, not from the great big cities. Let's see. Guys. Nice. This is the railway station of Viborg. I'm going back. Please uh, comment what you like of this walk. I might re-release this video. So push likes, everybody. Let's see what time it goes. And, uh, see you soon. See you tonight in uh, St. Petersburg. They pass me without any problems. Push. All right, guys. This is the Epic Center. It's uh, 25. All right, good. Yes, Park Monrepo is something I need to visit in the summertime. Guys, I might need to buy something to drink. 
uh, Victor Stamino. Hello from Bulgaria. You too. Welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I have 40 minutes. I have to go. Guys, thanks for watching Igor in Russia, foreign and traveling to Russia. Epic stuff. Subscribe to the channel, become a member, and see you soon. Bye bye. Beautiful.